What's up everyone? After years and years of patiently waiting, it's finally here. This is the old brand new Mac Pro for 2013. This model I got here is the old maxed out version with the 2.7 GHz 12 core Intel Xeon E5 processor, two AMD Fire Pro D700 graphics cards, 64 GB of RAM, and one terabyte of PCIe flash storage. Apple has done a nice job with the packaging of the Mac Pro. On the side of the box, there's an Apple logo. Just like any other Apple device, Apple kept the packaging on the Mac Pro very simple and clean. Alright, it's time to unbox this beast. Inside the lid here, you get all the documentation. A pamphlet that says full speed ahead and gives you a quick rundown about your Mac Pro, two black Apple stickers, and Mac Pro basic warranty information. It's actually a lot heavier than it looks, but Mac Pro's design allows you to be able to pick it up with one hand. And inside the box there's only one thing and it's just a power cord, it does not come with a keyboard or a mouse. Mac Pro does come in a nice plastic covering, let's go ahead and get it peeled open here. Looking at the Mac Pro online I thought it'd be more black, but now that I see one in person it actually looks very shiny and it's more grey. On the bottom you can see the ventilation which is the intake vents, you'll also find the rubber foot which is grippy enough to hold on to a desktop. Back of the Mac Pro has all the ports and the only Apple logo. It also has a built-in accelerometer that lights out the ports when you move it, and it powers off after a few seconds. I use this Mac Pro to make this video and the fan is surprisingly quiet. Let's go ahead and get this case off so we can take a look inside the Mac Pro. You got 32 gigs of RAM on each side of the ports, two Fire Pro D700 graphics cards, and the one terabyte PCIe flash storage. Mac Pro is 9.9 inches tall. Just to give you an idea, here's an iPhone 5S. Here's an iPad Air, and you can see the Mac Pro is just a little bit taller than the iPad Air. Let's go ahead and compare this to a 15 inch MacBook Pro Retina display. And on this one, you can see the height is right about the same. And of course, here's an Apple. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for my upcoming videos, which will be the benchmarks of this maxed out Mac Pro.